Welcome to Silverlight Programming series of tutorials. In this series, you will learn Silverlight Programming using C Sharp and JAML. Before I start programming, uh, let me start with a little in brief introduction of Silverlight. Silverlight is a technology to build web applications using .NET 3.5 in WPF. WPF is basically named for uh, next generation client applications API. So also before you start learning this tutorial I would recommend you download Visual Studio 2008 and SQL Server 2005. Actually you don't have if you don't have money you don't have to actually buy the real product you can just go to msdn.com and search for or click on uh, Visual Studio in the left side and look for Express versions. Express versions are actually free for everybody. So and you should be able to build these applications with the uh, Express versions. So once you install Visual Studio 2008 Express version or Team Suite or Professional or any other version, then you start learning from these tutorials. This is very first basic introduction tutorial. In this, we will simply see how to build a how to build your first Hello Silverlight application. But keep in mind, this is more like a series of tutorials. So, in this series, I'll be basically going through one by one. And by the time I'll be done, maybe like after 30 or 40 tutorials, you will know everything about Silverlight. So stay tuned. Uh, Stay tuned and uh, by the time you are done with these tutorials, you'll be expert on Silverlight. Silverlight actually, uh, another thing is I'm going to, I'm using Silverlight 2.0. So after you install Visual Studio 2008, you may also want to go to silverlight.net website. Go to www.silverlight.net. In that, uh, there is a link called Get Started where you can find all Silverlight downloads. If you don't know uh, what to install, what not to install, search the C Sharp Corner website for getting started with Silverlight. And there are a few good articles on explaining what you steps you need to do. So anyway, uh, hold your horses and let's uh, get started with our first video. And I hope you enjoy this video as always. Uh, I would like to see your uh, comments, your feedback. Uh, keep in mind, we are always, always, always looking for feedback. Feedback which helps me to improve this. I, I don't need a feedback saying like very good job or good tutorial or blah, blah, blah. What I'm looking for is uh, critics like how can we improve this video or article? What we are missing here, that's the key. Okay, I don't mind if you guys, you know, say Give me whatever your feedback is. Okay. So anyway, let's back to work. Let's get started with our first Silverlight application. So when you open Visual Studio 2008 on File, File menu, click New and Project. In Project, now in the left side, you will see Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp. If, if you expand Visual C Sharp, you'll also see Windows, Web, Smart Device, Office, Database, Reporting, Silverlight. Silverlight, you may not be able to see this if you have not installed Silverlight tool, Silverlight uh, add-on after you install Visual Studio 2008. So if you don't see Silverlight here, means you have not installed Silverlight on your machine. So I would recommend you go to silverlight.net and download silverlight uh, down all three downloads from there for visual studio all right so in my left side i select silverlight as you can see in my right side templates i see two options two templates silverlight applications silverlight class library first we are going to start with simple silverlight application i will also show you in my forthcoming articles how to build a Silverlight class library. So anyway, let's uh, give my name, 
give my application name first silver light application say okay on next screen it will ask you two options just keep first option selected I will talk about this option later in more details but remember this is our very first application so I'm trying to make it as simple as uh, it should be okay so once your project is created in your solution actually you'll see two projects one is your web project one is your app project web project as you can see here first slapp.web and then you see first slapp web project right now you are not even going to touch it this is to build this is to basically run a silverlight code on web using aspx and html this i'll talk in more details in my forthcoming videos in this right now we are only focusing on how to write your first quick application all right so i'm gonna rearrange my i'll also make sure i have these so i can hide and make this screen real, you know big as you can see i have solution explorer here and i have a server explorer and toolbox here so first thing i'm going to do is by default visual studio adds a grid element to your xaml file i'm going to replace this grid element with the canvas why i do that i will tell you just in a second uh, but that's first thing i do now from toolbox right now in visual studio 2008 if you drag a control let's say button control from your toolbox to your ui it doesn't work visual studio 2010 has a fix for it and it will work there however right now you can drop drag and drop a button control to your jaml file so here i just drag and drop a button control now by default you won't be able to see button controls very low so what we are going to do is you got to give it a width and height so width i'll say 200 and height of the button i say 30. oops as you can see my button is created right here now canvas comes really handy when you need to format the position of a control so i can just say canvas dot left equal to 20 and canvas dot top equals to 20 so what this does is from top of the canvas it places my control from 20 height and 20 width so i can really rearrange the position of my control the however the way i want now next thing I'm going to do is give my control a name. Every control in Silverlight has a X name element and that's the unique name of the control. So I call it click button. After this I'm going to set its text by using content attribute and say click me. Boom. So my button is ready. I'll also talk about more features like formatting elements, controls in Silverlight a little later. But let's just stick with the simple approach. Now I'm also going to add a click event handler. So click, as you can see, a new event handler option is available right here in the in, in IntelliSense. So double click on this. This actually adds a button click event handler for you in the code and if you want to look at it you just right click on it and save view code and in your code you are already in the click event handler button click anyway let's get back to our designer uh, after creating my button one more thing I want to do is I want to add a text box by simply dragging the text box from 
toolbox to my JML file. As I did before, I'm also going to set name width and height properties of this text box and I'm also going to set the position by using top say 80 and canvas top left say 20 so as you can see my text box and button is ready now button I gave button a name I also set its width and height and I also set the position of the button where we have all the text box where it's going to be placed on the canvas. So now let's go back to my button click event handler. On this what I'm going to do is I'm going to set as text property of as you can see IntelliSense is not working here and the reason is because designer actually fully doesn't support it yet so one one thing you can do is uh, one thing you can do is build the project once you build the project if you try your text box now you will see your text box is available right here so here i'm going to say hello silver light Now build and run the solution. So on my button click, I'm simply saying hello silver light. So F5 to build and run the solution. It will ask you to modify web config file, which is fine. Just say okay. It's not a problem. Now first time silver type silver light application takes a while. So let's click the button. Boom. Here. Yeah. So you saw how easy it is to create a silver light application. Anyway, this was just a simple hello silver light application. Uh, but as we go to more depth in depth of the silver light uh, technology, you will find it how you know how many new things has you know have added to this technology and how it is really different from all previous technologies like ASP.NET or ASP or HTML. Um, that's all. This is, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, just stay tuned. I'll be bringing more tutorials. Just follow the series. I'm going to start with basic and then slowly you know, go more details in depth. Uh, again, the feed comments, feed to port, you know, then the bot.